Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel PD Tutorial and today in this video I am going to prove Young's theorem from the chapter Continuity and Differentiability of a function of two variables. Let's see the statement. Let AB be a point of the domain of a function f such that fx and fy both are differentiable at point AB then fxy at point AB is equals to fyx at point AB. Okay, let's see the solution. The differentiability, the differentiability of fx and fy implies that they exist in a certain, certain neighborhood of point AB such that fxx, fyx, fxy, fyy exist at point AB. So, we write fx h by the definition or differentiability we writing this function as small f a a plus h b plus h minus f of a plus h b minus f a b plus h plus f a b okay now the second function is for one variable g function with one variable y f a plus h y minus f of a y so that f of h h is equals to g b plus h minus g of b. Since f y exist in neighborhood of point a b therefore by applying mean value theorem for the Statement and proof of mean value theorem. The links are given in the description box. You may check that theorem to the expression to the expression on right hand side of equation one. We get h h is equals to h g dash b plus theta h, where theta lies between zero to one. Now we are going to put the value of g dash, okay, from the value, this one, g y, we get h, f y, a plus h, b plus theta h, minus f of y, a, b plus theta h, give it equation 2, since f y is differentiable at point a b at point a b therefore we have by definition or differentiability we can write f of y a plus h b plus theta h minus f y a b is equals to h fxy ab plus theta h fyy ab plus h phi 1 h h plus theta h psi 1 h h give it equation 3 psi 1 h h and phi 1 h h and psi 1 h h tends to 0 h h tending to 0 Similarly, f y a f y a b plus theta h minus f y a b is equal to theta h f y y a b plus theta h psi two h h. Give it equation four, where psi 2 h s tends to 0 as s tends to 0. Now subtracting 3 minus 4 we get I am going to write the final result f y a plus h 
b plus theta h minus f y a b plus theta h is equal to h f x y a b plus h phi 1 h h plus theta h curl bracket psi 1 h h minus psi 2 h h now it can be written as f of h h upon h is equals to everything is same on like right hand side from equation 2 we write this f of h h upon h from equation 2 and right hand side is just same now f of h h upon h square is equals to f x y keeping h common from this side and multiply it with denominator this will become h square and write the same h h uh, theta curl bracket psi 1 h h minus psi 2 h h give it equation 5 by similar argument consider again we are going to consider function ux f of x b plus h minus f x b ok we can show that f of h h upon h square is equals to f y x a b plus theta dash psi 2 dash h h minus psi phi 2 dash h h minus psi 2 dash h h plus psi 1 dash h h and giving it equation 6 where phi 2 dash psi 2 dash psi 1 dash tends to 0 as h tends to 0. Now equating right hand side of equation 5 and 6 and making h tends to 0 we get fxy ab taking limit h tends to 0 on both sides we get fxy at point ab is equal to fyx at point ab so this is the proof of the theorem don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon and hit the like button if you like my videos thanks for watching my videos